What's up ladies and gents, it's your boy Rome in the house and welcome to Final Fantasy Online. Let's continue our job quest, it's part of the uh, Endwalker storyline. So, last time we came all the way back to Gradania and in Gradania it seems that a blasphemy is afoot. So let's see if we can solve the issues. Let's go. Keeper of the Entwined Serpents. The Keeper of the Entwined Serpents is eager to resume the hunt. We have followed up on every report concerning Glipnir, even those that beggared belief. The most promising suggest the blasphemy is currently stalking the South Shroud. We are to proceed here at once, for there is no telling when it might strike again. The Elder Seeds here is already en route to Root Scale. Roots Lake, let us not keep her waiting. Hey, let's go. I like Camp Tranquil. It's a very nice, peaceful place. Greetings, Black Dragon. As luck would have it, my sister Rhea O frequents Camp Tranquil. We would do well to meet her f with her first, for she may have knowledge of this threat that can aid us in our search. It has been too long, Rhea O. Kani, I was afraid the situation might force your arrival, but that this reunion was under more joyous circumstances. It is heartening to see her joined by the bearer of Atoa's will. Unfortunately, Glipnir's poison cannot be cured by any healing force known to us, as I am sure you have already learned. Nevertheless, I have faith that together we can find a way to defeat it. Every moment is crucial, so let us dispense with further pleasantries. Have you received word of Glipni's whereabouts? I have. It recently ambushed a poor traveler who succumbed to his wound soon thereafter. A tragic and increasingly common late tale. No others in Camp Tranquil have come to harm, but some claim they feel a presence in the distant trees, staring at them with malicious with malicious intensity they struggle to find the courage to venture beyond the safety of the camp while his victims exhibit symptoms reminiscent of the creeping death glipnir's corruption seems only to affect those who have been assaulted by the blasphemy itself we have yet to confirm a single instance of its spreading from one individual to another that's somewhat reassuring but it will provide little comfort to the people here i think if Glipnir comes, any de defense we mount will come at a great cost. Those who will fall wounded will invariably die. I'm at a loss and the people under my care can see it. They grow tense and bicker among themselves. Some even accuse me of standing idly by while this monster roams free, as if I'm not doing all that I can. I... I apologize. Would that I had come to you sooner? Would that there were more I could offer? Not every burden is yours to bear, Kani. He is right. It is the duty of all seed seers to face this threat, and so we should do this together, with the aid of the elementals as well. Under different circumstances, I would agree, but their strength was waned since the calamity, and I am reluctant to impose upon them. Indeed, when I open my thoughts to the elements, I shudder to hear their distress. Once we have laid low the blasphemy, the elementals will be at peace. Well then, how do you propose we go about that? First, allow me to speak with the people here and assure them that 
all will be well, that Gradania's resolve to weather the storm remains steadfast. No road is close to those true of heart. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that you'd begin with an earnest and heartfelt appeal. For my part, I shall reach out to Arun. Perhaps together we can find a way to offer a similar comfort to the elementals. I have no doubt we will require their assistance in the days ahead. Thank you, sister. May the twelve watch over and keep you both. May I trouble you to accompany me? The presence of a storied hero would surely lend credence to my claims that the people's difficulties will soon be at an end. While you attend to that, I shall gather what information I can from the wood whalers stationed here. Pray look for me at the camp proper when you have finished. If we are to convince the people that they need not live in fear, then my words alone are insignificant. I do not comport myself as an imposing figure blessed with martial prowess, to say the least. You, on the other hand, are renowned as a peerless warrior who has triumphed in countless trials. Simply looking on your features fills me with confidence that this crisis too shall pass. I pray you stay by my side, that those I who those we speak might be joyed by your presence. Okay, so we're gonna go speak with uh, the people and give them uh, confidence that all will be well. Inflamed man, seats here are sitting pretty with their guards and finery. What do they care for beasties running amok? They'll be fine. That's why they're doing nothing, while it hunts us. We'd be fools to trust our lives to those who what care, to those what don't care a whit. What don't care a whit? Hmm, let's use that something. Aye, past time we, were sent so we went south, least in Ulda they don't pretend to look out for the common man. Elder uh, seats here. I was just. I promise you that we are sparing no effort in our hunt for Glipnir. However, it will take time, and may and more may suffer before the beast is laid low. Nevertheless, I ask that you place your faith in me, if only for a while longer. I love the Twelveswood and her people with all my heart, and I will not let our enemy torment us forever. I uh, I understand. Man's got to give voice to his worries from time to time, eh? Nothing I want less than to abandon my home. I'll stick around for now. Distraught woman. A single scratch is enough to spell one's doom, they say. Nothing but to wait for death to come. How can we face a beast like that? Do not give in to despair, my friend. Know that I shall do all in my power to see us through this crisis. Hold fast to hope and encourage others to do so as well. I'll try, Elder Seatser, I'll try. I know you placed yourself at risk leaving the safety of the city and coming here, and that means a lot to me and mine. I'll stay close to the Valors and pray news of your triumph reaches us soon. Thank you. I promise you that I, I, it will not be long. Restive man. I'm not quite sure what restive means. I saw it. A gargantuan beast stalking the woods with horns the size of my leg. What's to stop it from coming here to fill its belly? Glipnir will do no such thing, I swear. I shall see it to it personally that the blasphemy does not come within a mom of this village. Keep heart for brighter days lie ahead. Truly, Elder Seats here. Ah, perhaps I've let my imagination get the better of me. You are a beacon in these dark times. I pray you restore the peace soon. I shall, you can be certain. We 
Will that be all for now, Elder Sitia? It will. I have done what I can to quell the unrest, but so long as Glipnir lives, there will be no peace. Sometimes simply lending an ear does wonders, as must be the case for the elementals, yes? Indeed, you are correct. Today was a welcome reminder of that truth and an important step in our journey. Mayhap I should visit these settlements more often. Doubtless some here think me a distance as, as distant as the elementals. So rarely do they see me in the outer reaches. You have served me admirably as protectors thus far, for which I am grateful. Yet until we have found and laid Glipnir low, I must continue to impose upon your goodwill. Tis no imposition, Elder Seetzer. You saved me on the killing fields of Cartano. My life is yours, now and always. Your life is your own to command, but I thank you for your words and your conviction which fills me with confidence that the path will walk that the path we walk is true. Even if that path takes us far afield, hmm, did I ever tell you that? When I was a young student, I would often steal into the woods with a dear friend of mine, much to the chagrin of our teacher. Deep down, I suspect there is a part of me that yearns to wander where I should not. Elder Sister, word from the border. We've got ourselves a right bloody mess by the sound of it. What has happened? Per your earlier instructions, the whalers closed the roads to all travel while we scoured the wood for signs of Klipnir. But now a group of locals are demanding to be let through into Thanalan. They were terrified by the sound of it, screaming about the creeping death and God knows, God knows what else. Despair grips their hearts. If it consumes them wholly, then we may have yet more blasphemies to contend with. I will speak with them. Wild rumors fuel their panic, and with truth and compassion will I convince them to see the reason and return to their homes. If anyone can see, it's you. We're doing our best to keep them calm for now, but my man's words painted a grim picture. I pray you make your way to the borders as quickly as you can. Come on, bro. Just let me walk around, you know. I might just find this uh, this dude they're looking for, you know. Oh, shoot. Uh, I made a mistake. Should have gone back to Camp Tranquil. And go through the border. Let us through, damn you. We're standing here while the creeping death nips at our heels. You're telling us to die. Those rumors are false. The Elder Seeds here herself sent word that the Creeping Death is not responsible for the recent incidents. You mustn't surrender to panic. Return to your homes while we deal with the threat and pay no heed to baseless stories. Stories? Stories? I've seen the dead with my own eyes. Don't tell me what is true and what isn't. 
Hearken to me, my friends. I come before you now to assure you that the creeping death has not returned. Only those who have been wounded by the Glipnir are in danger, and so I beseech you to take shelter in your homes until the threat has passed. Glipnir? The beast I saw in the wood? We have to run. It could have followed us. You saw him? Where? Uh, not far from here, those glistening horns, those terrible chains, reaching out to drag you down into the seventh hell. We ran and ran and ran and never looked back. But don't worry, it didn't catch any of us. No one's marked, see? That means, that means we're safe, right? Uh-oh. But, but say we weren't fast enough. Uh, what then? Its horns and claws are the po is where the poisons reside. Even a scratch would be cause for concern. Even a scratch? Then... Then it's too late for me. Is that... Is that why my body feels like it's on fire? You told me the branches tripped you up. You said that's how it happened, you said. Oh, heavenly winds, guide us to the font of strength. May we drink from it. I don't feel any better. Do it again. It hurts. Help me. Conjury has no effect. There can be no mistake. This is Glipnir's doing. Even so, I ask that you do not lose heart. Stray strong, for if we surrender to fear, the beast has already won. No, I don't want to die. Please, help me. Ah! Get back! You said, you said it wasn't, uh, why, why? Liars, liars, all of you, none of us are safe, none of us will, ah! Despair made manifest. Twelve, forfend. Is there naught that can be done for these poor souls? Naught but one thing, I know, I know. We must lay them to rest. Contain the threat. Bell beast, not quite a terminus. Okay, let's bring home the shadow. Yeah.
they are at peace. Would that it had not come to this, I was, I was powerless to prevent it. You did all you could, Elder Seeds here. Is that what's going to happen to us? Is there no hope? What you witnessed was the fate of those who fall to the deepest despair. It feeds upon grief and anguish and is more deadly than Glipnir itself. But as I swore to you that we shall defeat the blasphemy that haunts us home, our homeland, so too do I swear that despair will not be the end of us. Keep the faith and look to the horizon, for brighter days will come. As you say, Elder, as you say. Glipnir is not here, and so you are free to return to your homes, but I urge you to take care on the path back. We will, Elder Seeds here. This storm has passed, but a darker tempest rolls in the distance. So long as the specter of despair looms, the people will struggle to take any words of comfort to heart. We will see more tragedies like this. The elements, too, cry for a solution. The longer we struggle to resolve this crisis, the more innocent lives we put at risk. Raya O oh, said we would need to turn to the elementals for assistance, and I know now that she was right, and so I will seek an audience with the Great One. However, there are preparations I must attend to first. I shall make the proper abulations to the lotus stand. Pray return to the adder's nest and await my summons. The closest portal. Okay, there's, there's one. Let's go. Despite our best efforts, we have been unable to prevent further loss of life. I foresee even greater hardship ahead. As we press on, we mustn't forget the words of the seats here. We must strive to remain undaunted in the face of despair. She is preparing for her communion with the Great One. When the time is right, she will call upon us both. Until then, my friend, stay strong. What a crazy situation.